Hey guys, this is Nick from Banker Supply in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and today we're looking at the Nutter by Full Windsor. It's a really cool multi-tool. Uh, it was designed by a guy named Mark Windsor uh, in the UK. It's another Kickstarter project. We really like carrying stuff fresh off of Kickstarter. This one was on Kickstarter about two years ago. Um, there's not a lot of shops in the U.S. that carry it, but we're really proud to be one of them. Uh, it is a really innovative multi-tool in the fact that uh, it can do a lot of things, but we'll get to that. Let's open this up. So it comes in this nice retail packaging, which kind of gives you a good display of, of what it is, and you can see that it's a tool and it comes with a pouch. Let's nip these here. Oh, wow. Kind of just zip ties everywhere. Get rid of that. So it comes with a multi-tool. Uh, this is an investment cast um, stainless steel. So it's nice that it's uh, stainless because it won't rust. Uh, it does have a little bit of heft to it, but I, I don't think it's bad at all. And it really doesn't weigh that much more than a lot of um, other multi-tools, even the folding ones that are aluminum, because this doesn't have a lot of uh, material that isn't tool. Let me see if I can get this open here. Um, so this, again, was another Kickstarter project. This, this stuff that comes off of Kickstarter, they kind of look at things a lot differently than what the bike industry does. If you look at a lot of the big brands, a lot of the tools that are coming out of them, they're, they're all kind of the same. But this one, I mean, there's, there's nothing really else that looks anything like this. Uh, and it's an innovative use because everything, um, every piece of it is kind of necessary. So in the package, you get a little instruction manual. Uh, they do this thing with monkeys. I'm not exactly sure why, uh, but it's pretty simple. So it comes in two colors too, uh, this black and this brown. But we'll just look at this black one right now. So this pouch uh, is made to store the tool, but it also stores the bits as you'll see. What they also do that's pretty cool is the spacing here is gonna be the same spacing as uh, the hooks underneath a brook saddle and some other saddles too that have hooks underneath them. So you can hang this uh, on the saddle. The straps are long enough that you can also wrap this around your bars or um, one of the tubes of your bike too, or just throw it in your bag. So inside of this pouch, uh, you'll see that it comes with a bit extender. And this is all uh, leather and uh, recycled inner tube, which is pretty cool. So let's get this out of here. Uh, uh. So it has this bit extender, and then it comes with several different bits. Uh, it comes with a Phillips, a small flathead. This is uh, a T25 Torx. And then here's a three millimeter Allen key, a four millimeter Allen key, five millimeter Allen key, a six millimeter, and then most importantly, an eight millimeter multi key. I'm um, sorry, eight millimeter. Allen key. Oh, that's a little bit to say. Uh, this is really important because a lot of multi tools don't come with eight millimeter bits. Uh, and for a tool that you're kind of looking to have on you, whether you're going on an adventure, you're bike camping, you're just riding around the city, this is something that can really save you. I've been on a couple rides with people that either their bikes weren't assembled right or, you know, something goes on and their crank bolt falls out. And it's really, there's not much you can do uh, without this eight. And because a lot of tools have it, I've been on rides that that person has one crank arm uh, to get home. So looking at this part, which is the, the main tool, you'll see that it has a tire lever. Uh, this right here is a bottle opener, and then this is a bit holder. Uh, and then you have a spoke key, and then a 15 millimeter um, hex wrench. And then this is where these bits fit. So you see that right here, you can either fit the actual bit, and there's a magnetic um, kind of attachment in there, so it snaps in. Uh, and you can also use the extension. I think the extension is really nice because um, although these bits are going to get you into most places, there are some places that um, this extension is really going to help you out. You can also store two bits. 
uh, inside here. So for a lot of people, especially uh, urban rides where you know most of your rides are going to be short, you're either going to be close to home or close to your work, you might be fine with just carrying this tool and maybe the four and the five, uh, and that's going to cover you for you know most of uh, the stuff that you're going to deal with day to day. Uh, something that I really like is that this tire lever is um, some kind of polymer plastic coated. So you're not, you, the steel goes pretty far in here, so you don't have to worry about snapping this off, but you don't, also don't have to worry about uh, denting rims or, or nicking them or marring the edge of your rim with um, just the, the steel lever. It's a good size for the lever. It's also a good size for the wrench. A lot of the 15 millimeter wrench tools uh, don't really give you enough leverage to really be useful. And same goes for a lot of um, tire levers that are made in portable toolkits. The other thing that is really important, you see how thick this is here? This is about 10 millimeters. Um, that's 0.4 inches or so. Uh, and that's really important because I've seen a lot of tools that have the 15 on them, which is really valuable, especially in the city where, you know, your Nexus three-speed hub or your single-speed hub or your fixed gear hub is going to have a 15 millimeter nutted axle instead of a quick release. And if you have a flat, you can be in a pinch if you don't have a wrench. But a lot of those tools, they're so thin that um, they actually bend or kind of spread when you use them on the nut. So this not only is thicker, but it's also a box. So really, if you can't get your axle nut off with this, it was too tight to start with. So this is going to cover you, you know, this is almost a shop tool where this covers you pretty much everything you need. And this is a tool that you could use every day and it's gonna last for years. Um, a lot of the multi-tools, especially the ones that are hinged, when you start using them a lot, either the hinge, hinges loosen or they're just not long enough uh, for you to get torque. But this is just uh, as good at home on your workbench or in your toolbox as it is on the road, whether under your saddle or in your bag. Uh, so you can put everything in here. The one thing that I don't like about this is it can be a little tough to get this uh, back in the pouch. Um, they do break in because it is leather. It will stretch. Uh, but you can see it's kind of tight um, to actually fit it in. But I think after using it uh, for a couple days, uh, a couple weeks, uh, that will fit in no problem, and you'll have no problem getting it in and out. And you can see that everything fits back in here. So it's really easy, uh, and we can put this back in order. Uh, it's easy to kind of have everything that you would need in a, a real world scenario, um, kind of all at your fingertips. So this is the full Windsor uh, nutter. There's also a version with the chain tool, and we'll show you that in another video uh, that's pretty close to the same thing, same quality, uh, but you lose that 15 millimeter wrench. But if you have any questions about it, feel free to leave us a comment. You can find this on our website. It's bankersupply.co. We'll have a link uh, in the description. And then you can also buy it in our store in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. If there's any other products that you want to see, feel free to leave us a comment. Uh, send us a message on Facebook or tweet at us and we'll do our best to keep showing you some of the coolest products in urban cycling.